Previously on XCOM 2 The Long War. Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of The Long War. We have another spy in our midst. It's as if Advent will never learn its lesson. Uh, they sent a spy into one of our havens and we've detected them sending signals out. So we're going to ambush them, we're going to destroy the faceless. Last time there was two facelesses and uh, hopefully not to get any injuries, especially not amongst the volunteers. Double here should be pretty damn good at this by now. Our position is concealed. Double Heen? I mean, Glamini, of course. God damn, Double Heen doesn't run any havens. Okay, let's have a look at these guys. So, you've got Aim as one of your abilities. You've got Lone Wolf and Boosted Cause, is that? I think that's Boosted Cause. Now let's move away and move back. There we go. Yep. I like that they get uh, little level ups. So aim, formidable, nice, and locked on, cool, and also had Kubikari as a skill. What's that one? Dead shot. Resilience. And then we're back to Glamini. But yeah, good selection from uh, from the troops. Uh, we've got concealment, so let's uh, move on up into cover. And we'll see if we can find where this spy meeting might be taking place. It's nice to take time to see uh, what's happening in the rest of the troops. I mean, these guys do gain experience after the missions. And uh, we've had quite a few missions involving spies. That's affirmative. Hmm. No sign of anything yet. That is... I'm all over it. Let's say worrisome. Because I'd like to know which way I was going. It doesn't extend too far that way, so I suppose we could Got scooch this way first. I can't see anything. We may as well scooch all the way down, actually. Double time. And of course, no sound because that would that would be easy. Um, right, Blamini, get yourself over here. And into the corner. All right, nothing there. So we're going to start pulling forwards on this side into the hard cover. Down to the tree, and I can't tab off, so we've finally seen someone. Now we can set up for the ambush. I've got enemy movement here. Alright. Two troops and a drone. That's okay. Moving. Got it. Uh, I think we'll actually put you on overwatch there because we're gonna wait for people to get closer. You, on the other hand, can go okay. towards to here. And go on over what's going on. Covering now. Unsurprisingly, they're patrolling around a bit. So we can open with a grenade on them. That'll probably be a pretty good option. We do need to bring Glomini back along. Do you know what? Just, Let's do this. just do it quick. Stand up to the hard cover. Up to the hard cover. Up to the other hard cover. Hard cover on this side. You can stay where you are for now. Eyes on the prize. I 
And we can play Cannon Mass with these for quite a long time. We don't have a time limit, of course. Understood. Moving out. Position confirmed. Um, you may as well get into some Already cover. There. Get up to there. You can get up to here. And is that it? All right. So Overwatch. 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 Guys, you're patrolling the wrong way. I mean, yeah, it's cool that you're patrolling, but I'd like you to patrol towards me so there's a chance you'll reveal, and then we can Overwatch ambush you. That's what I'm building this strategy around. Okay, into the hard cover. Uh, you can come across to this hardcover, actually. Heading there now. Scanning. Rolling. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Roger that. It's not exactly a brilliant place, this one, but. Roger. I've got my Close eyes enough on. I'm on it. to get some kind of ambush shot off. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm on it. All right, finally. So if they carry on this way, next turn they'll reveal, and yeah, they'll be quite far over this way, but we should be able to get some kind of ambush thing on them. We could actually reveal purposefully this turn, but I think it'll be better to get a round of ambush on them first. Eyes on the prize. So in moving to position. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering that. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatch all round. Where are they going? Just down the road. All right. Well, they might just get the flank on one of our troops, but I don't think so. Next turn. Surprise, guys. Literally walking right up to them. Well, there's going to be a bit of a bonus on that. Stop. And then they run away. One down. Two down. Three down. Well, Look at that. that. This is it, right? All right. Well, did anyone not? Well, you can step out and step back. On so do way. that. Grab these. Asset secure. Because if I can do it without grenades, then you get more loot. So it's totally worth it. Step sure back. Thing. Everyone else is going to reload and overwatch this turn. And here is another pot. It's not gonna be as easy as the last one by any means, but oh, come on. We should be able to manage it. Come at us, dude. They're flanking my position. That's surprising. So who's complaining about being flanked? Possibly you, but you're not really in a place to complain about it. Right, so let's, let's zoom out a little bit. We can actually get a flank, like a proper flank from here. So we should do that. Let's do this. Of course it was you that was complaining because you were standing right in the open. Well, you know, reverse flank. That's a good amount of damage as well. Some bullets whizzed past there. Step down here, then we'll be in a position to get flanked ourselves. I think we're going to step in. Absolutely. And then maybe get grenade forwards. 
Look at that icon. That icon's brilliant. Right. So frag grenade is not going to do what we want it to, but a flashbang will certainly help. That being said, we could potentially flush the officer. No, no, better to get a flashbang in. Let's try and do this sensibly. Flash out. Yeah, just, you know, throw it straight through the street sign, Glamini. That's totally fine. I mean, it's a legitimate technique. There's not much chance to hit on any of those. Grenade is not going to do much. So I think Overwatch. We've got a slightly better chance to hit. We could move you forwards and then get a grenade in, actually, which I probably should have done first. Damn, that's a mistake. We'll step across and get the flank. Let's step across and get the flank. Would be much, much more sensible. Only the best. Need a resupply. So still three left to take out. If we get over here, we can get an overwatch to stop things moving around us. Do the same from here, but we can have less line of sight. I can handle that. I'm on it. And you, we need to get you down and in this fight. Uh, let's just get you down to no here. Need to ask twice. That's probably a second one that's going to reveal. Not sure we're going to make it in to get that loot, but we can get this guy killed. Ooh, not if we miss all our Overwatch shots. Come on, there's another Overwatch shot. He's come a lot further than I expected. Please don't attack this turn. Okay, that's fine. The other one's not revealing yet. Okay. So let's have a look at who we've got that can do a lot of damage. You're in hard cover already. Makes sense for you to attack. So reload. Rock and roll. Wow, that was quite appalling. That was quite, quite terrible. really good chance to hit but also you could get a grenade on this dude and just you know if we move you up to here so let's not do you next get this guy into hard cover Heading out. Maybe a flesh yeah we need a bit more than that Regardless of what we do, you need to reload. Back in. Try and kill it. Oh, guys, guys. I know you're not professionals, but this is really quite bad. Uh, so... Reload and then take a shot at it. I can step into here and take a shot at it. Reload and take a shot at it. I'm ready. Okay. Not too shabby. Something useful at least. Running low. So you're gonna come across here, Boris. Heading out. Get a frag grenade on this guy. This is for you. Okay. 
So Glamini. He's probably going to move. Let's zoom out a little bit. Where can we move up to? That's going to be safe. Here might be considered safe. Might also just trigger that Overwatch fire. Alright, I think it's going to be safe. Go in. No. It's alright, it's only on the armour. We can flush him for a little bit of damage. Or we can suppress him. Suppressing him is probably going to be better. Let's move other people in. This thing, of course. Oh, wow, he ran it. Um, it's still probably going to be... Well, now we're just going to flush him. Oh, we can't actually see him from here. Smart. S-M-R-T smart. Not that smart. Here, catch! And the big one changes, just as we expected. It's alright, we can uh, we can focus fire on him now. So over here, seventy-seven percent. Fact. Game's aim and armor piercing bonuses. Yeah, why not? So starting here. Cool, we need a bit more than that. Really, I'd like to kill it this turn so we get the uh, the benefits of it being dead. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. From here we can see it. Let's rotate that ever so slightly so it's not going to mess us around in our position. Reasonable hit. Ammo out. Finally. Just need a little bit more. Got Tiny bit there. more. Toss me some ammo. A bit more than you can do, probably though. Ah, oh, there's there's two of them. That's okay. Uh, let's not go too close to it, is what I'm sure thinking. Thing. Just enough. That's right. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. All right. Mission accomplished. Tactical victory. Operation Brass Sun. This is how we go around uh, eliminating people. Uh, one other thing that uh, I've, I've done is I've put on random awards at the end. Uh, so, hates drones the most, Boris Morozov. It actually picks out the people that have killed that item the most through it. Uh, these are people that have tag teamed an enemy, uh, people that were most out of ammo, and so on and so forth. There's, there's a whole bunch of random ones that can end up uh, being in there. Let's get back to base. Ah... Okay, we may need to reload the last save. Give me a moment and I will recreate that last turn very quickly. Hey! And so we are back successfully. Operation Brass Sun. I mean, these guys have got some brass tacks. Well done, Glamini. Well done, team. Although, I mean... Some of these, I'm sure that these troops have been long before, so 
Uh, what are we going to do? Ooh. Chain shot is a very, very good option. Lots and lots and lots of shredding. Ooh. Cone based shredder attack, potentially. Now, I think we'll go with chain shot. I think chain shot is going to be the right thing to do. And then uh, later on, we can look at. Um, Cool under pressure, maybe. No. No, we'll do uh, cyclic fire next. Yeah, so we'll do chain shot on cyclic fire and then uh, probably kill zone. I, I do love rupture. Uh, and then traverse fire. All of the firing, that's what we're going to do. And look at all this loot that we got from that. That was pretty awesome. A whole bunch of PCS is ready to go on various team members. Right, something's ready for infiltrating up to 142%. And uh, sabotaging the advent monuments up to 100%. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership. All right. He's Commander, pretty happy with us. And you That's uh, done yourself. Good. It's hard to say how things are going, but uh, all right. Firewalls potentially. So at the moment they've got the hard target ability uh, as well. That's going to be worked on, but we can try and disrupt those. Hey, and we got some more supplies. Okay, let's back out of this. We can get you helping with this. And then the next one. Wait, is there. There is still a space, isn't there? There we go. And we can get that one going as well. That seems quite reasonable. We don't need more power. Um, we could put someone in there for the proving ground projects for the incendiary grenades. What else do we have queued up? Nothing. It's going to be worth us queuing up. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Okay, so we've got one engineer in here as well, and I think that's uh, that's pretty reasonable because we'll get incendiary grenades very soon from that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and get that supply drop. This is going to let us upgrade so many people's weapons. And we have our new Haven officer. Uh, right, carry on for the moment. Let's assign you over here. Was it cost? No, it wasn't Costa. It wasn't Harumi. Oh, I think it was Anastasia. Yeah. Before we do that, let's let's actually have a quick look because it, while it doesn't have to be an officer, um, it, officers do get benefits. Uh, so let's just see what Zachenko's skills are, just as a reminder, before we go assigning her out there for a very long time. So just general sniping, dangle ground, rapid targeting, that's fine. Quick study, so you'll be good for the officer things as time goes on, that's fine. So we could train you up a little bit more before throwing you out there. And I think training you up with quick draw would probably make sense. Right, let's... For the loadout... Get rid of your flashbang and we'll give you a pistol. Keep the frag grenade. Mm. 
and we'll train you up with quick draw. Because that'll only take two days. We're going to make you pretty damn good before we send you out there into the haven. Alright, this one has to go. It's extremely light. I kind of wish we'd taken more people on it, but at the same time, I think it's going to be fine. Um, mostly for more experience. Uh, so let's just remind ourselves of who it is. It is Grizzly uh, with Jackson. This is going to be quite fun. Now that we've got a foothold, it's time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. Okay, join me next time for Operation Meteoric Song. I'll see you soon.